Hello viewers, welcome back to Jamie's Bug Out Bunker Kitchen. Today we are looking at hot dogs, but before that I've got a very important announcement to make. Are you ready? It's back! The pink and purple striped rugby shirt of doom. The thing that we thought was lost forever. I'll tell you where it was. It was hanging up under a coat, under a massive coat in my wardrobe. And I don't put that massive coat on unless it's really cold. And I took it out the other day and I saw a little flash of pink and purple. And I thought, no, it can't be, but it was. We're reunited. Thank you very much for all your supportive tweets and Instagram messages, but we can all relax. Everything is fine. It's a fantastic moment. It is the genuine one, look. There's the hole that proves it. It is the real sod. And honestly, the sensation, it's a bit like being reunited with a lost pet. It's like, you know, your cat comes home after two weeks or you get a phone call that says, hey, don't worry, we found your dog. That's what it's like. This is my dog. Anyway, hot dogs. We are doing this authentically. Here we have two German hot dog sausages. This is a Bockwurst. Traditionally, that is made with minced veal. This is a bratwurst, which is made with pork. And interestingly, the word brat is from high old German, meaning finely chopped. But it is also, these days, taken to mean braten, fried, which is what we're going to do. We're going to fry those. Now, the sausages are German. In every other respect, this is a perfectly straightforward British bonfire night hot dog. Very, very simple, very basic ingredients. We have council issue bread rolls. These are 80 pence for six. We have some pre-chopped onion here, which I did just now. That's just a perfectly normal onion. We have a bit of vegetable oil. That's already in the pan. Some mustard, Coleman's mustard, obviously. Heinz tomato ketchup and a bit of olive oil based scrape to put on the bread roll. So this is the first time we've used our new hob. Let's turn it on, warm it up and make hot dogs. They are going to be tested out, not on Tom, as usual, but on two men who are about to walk in. They are Richard and Ben. They are Sparkies, that's electricians, if you're not British. And they are here upgrading the electrics of the bunker because they were a little bit sketchy and we could only have one thing turned on at a time. Now we can have a massive cooker, we can recharge Teslas, whatever. So, that is definitely hot. It's a brand new pan as well. It all smells a bit new. We can just toss a small piece of onion in to see if it's working. It isn't. Yes, that's starting to move. Can you hear the, the faint sizzle of the pan? That is an excellent sign. In goes the bratwurst, in goes the bockwurst. They should take, I would guess, but I am guessing, about 10 or 12 minutes. They're going to be turned over with my ancestral grabbers, which my mother gave to me, but which I believe belonged to her mother before her, like my colander that you may have seen in some of my other earlier cooking videos. This will do pretty much everything you want to do in the kitchen, as long as it involves picking things up. We'll do a little bit of pre-preparation on the bread rolls. German hot dogs, English mustard, American tomato ketchup, a locally sourced onion, by which I mean from the remains of the supermarket upstairs. And the bread rolls, I believe, are also British, but they could be from Eastern Europe. It's not entirely clear. So, bread rolls. Scrape. One of the great debates surrounding hot dog preparation, and it's one we'll probably have in a minute, and I expect Tom and Lucy on the cameras will join in, is when do you put the mustard and the ketchup on, how do you put it on, and how much of it? Do you both like ketchup and mustard and onions with your hot dogs? Yes. Yes? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Neither of you is vegan or Jewish or anything like that that I need no. to be aware of. You don't have any allergies or intolerances? No. Didn't think you would. Only to pets. To what, pets? Cats. You don't like cats? Cats, oh, you're allergic to cats. Bad luck. Oh, no. They're very. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, we can put that away. I'm actually going to time this just so that I know in future how long these German sausages take. I'm not really entirely familiar with them. 
Right, they're starting to go. We'll put some onion in. Plenty of it, as they say in Battle of Britain. Flood the cowling, plenty of it. It's probably too much, actually. And I haven't chopped them up finely enough, but a little bit of gentle pummeling with the wooden spoon may sort that out. Maybe it won't. There you go. Oh, that smells, that smells very British outdoor event. Bonfire night, air display, motor racing, country fair, all those things, they all smell exactly the same. They smell of low grade food being fried in a pan in vegetable oil that's been used several times before. These are quite expensive sausages, I should say. They work out at about one pound 85 each. That's not, that's not a cheap snack. That is a, that's a posh sausage. Does either of you have a preference for Bockwurst or the Bratwurst? I'll try the Bockwurst. Bockwurst. That's the veal-based sausages. Are you happy with the Bratwurst, yeah. Richard? Yeah. Anyone that's do, that's the pork-based sausage. Yeah. The taste of this one, the Bockwurst, I'm imagining, will be slightly reminiscent of a visit to the cinema in the 1970s if you lived in the north of England, because there was a type of cinema hot dog called the Frankies, the SRBs, it was known, the sausage in the roll in a box, because it came in a stupid little cardboard box, and they had a tune that went SRB, SRB, the sausage in the roll in the box for me. It was absolute bollocks, and they tasted appalling. In fact, a lot of people just ate the cardboard box. This, I'm hoping, although it looks similar and smells similar, will taste rather better. Any complaints so far, camera crew? I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Security film has been removed from the mustard. There's usually one in the ketchup. Let's have a look. No, we've already taken that off. There's always the option of salad cream as well. Look at that. The colour is changing there on the bratwurst. It's browning slightly, which is what we want. I don't really know when they're done. How long have they been going? They have been going for... Just coming up for five minutes. Looking convincing. Hot dogs, of course, are always served on a folded up paper napkin into which the mustard, fat, and tomato ketchup soaks, thus rendering it useless for what it's supposed to do, which is wiping your face afterwards. But we'll do it anyway because it's proper. Would you say it was permissible to cut a tiny bit off the end of one of the sausages to see if it's done? I think it was Rich's one. <laughs> Which one was Rich's one? You were having the bratwurst. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Okay, well your colleague spoke first and it's a ruthless yeah. world, so <laughs> we're taking the end off yours. Who hasn't done the washing up? Ooh, that looks pretty good. Looks very German. Oh, God. Mmm. Another couple of minutes, though, I'd say. Are you familiar with German sausage hot dogs, or is this a relatively new experience? Um, I've had brief experience. Good, bit... bad? Good, yeah. Good? Depends on more experience. <laughs> I've had a bratwurst before. You're having a bock this time. That's why I'm try This is great. It smells fantastic. It fills me with hope. Right, two minutes from now. Here we go. Okay, onions on the bread roll. Plenty of it. Before anybody complains, I know I shouldn't really use a metal tool in a non-stick pan, but you know, times is hard and we can't be that fussy. Bockwurst. Bratwurst.
smear of mustard, not too much. Mustard can be a bit overpowering if you're not careful. What do you think? Looking good so far? Yeah? Maybe on reflection I shouldn't have cut the bread rolls in half entirely. I should have just split them so that the hot dog sausage would stay in it. But it's not critical. Right, men. Here we go. Bockwurst. That was... Who was Bockwurst? Who was Bockwurst? Bockwurst, mustard, onion, tomato ketchup. You can be honest, you don't no, have to be no. nice. Yeah, it's nice. Tastes a bit, bit like um, frankfurter. Yeah. yeah. I think it is fairly closely related to a frankfurter. Very nice. I actually made one with a botburst myself Ooh, yesterday nice. as a test. I thought it did taste like a, yeah, like you say, like a frankfurter, like a cinema hot dog. Shall I tell them? They're vegan sausages. Are they? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. They're all made entirely with vegetable matter. There's no animal produce anywhere in any of this. I hope. I didn't actually check mustard. There can't be any animal produce in mustard, can there? Just oil and mustard and tomato ketchup is made with vinegar and tomatoes and so on. And an onion is an onion and our cooking oil is just vegetable oil. So we did that as part of World Vegan Day as an experiment. Things like vegan sausages, vegan bacon, vegan black pudding. I didn't know you could get that, but you can. They're all there to help people make the transition from eating meat to not eating meat, if that's what you want to do. Um, that was a bit of an evil trick doing that to you, but you didn't know, did you? Did you suspect anything? No. no. Really? No. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Am I doing, what am I supposed to say? I'm doing World Vegan Day and I'm not eating any meat produce for a whole day, which isn't going to be very difficult to be honest, because I could simply not eat for a day. But anyway, give it a go. You may be surprised. You'll definitely be farting. Goodbye. A call for actions, James? Oh yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. No, like, comment, subscribe. Close enough. I hate saying that.